Welcome. Today we'll be looking at the Olight O-Tackle K1 versus the Vittoric Knock Swiss Army Knife Classic SD. I'm looking to build a lighter EDC gear pouch using the Maxpedition Micro. My current EDC gear pouch is the Maxpedition Mini and it is quite heavy so I'm looking to do something a little bit lighter. If we look at my Maxpedition Mini, it weighs one pound, 9.8 ounces. If we look inside, it has quite a bit of stuff in it. In my lighter pouch, I'd like to have a flashlight, pliers, adjustable wrench, blade, scissors, precision screwdriver, standard quarter inch screw bits, a pry bar, and any other nice to haves. So I'm particularly interested in a backup blade and scissors. So I was looking at the $20 price point of what I could get in a small multi-tool. The O-Knife O-Tackle K1 comes in at just under $20, is made of solid aluminum and steel. And the Victoric Knox Swiss Army Knife that comes in at just over $20 is the Swiss Army Knife Classic SD. If we look at their size, the K1 is roughly two and three quarters of an inch long, and the Swiss Army Classic is two and a quarter inches long. The O-Tackle is 44 grams, and the Swiss Army Knife is 21 grams. The K1 comes with scissors, a combination can opener, bottle opener, a slotted screwdriver, a small knife, a pair of tweezers, and a key ring. The Swiss Army Knife Classic comes with a blade, a nail file with screwdriver, a pair of scissors, a key ring, a pair of tweezers, and a toothpick. All right, to start, let's test the blades on these two. So if we take a look at the size difference, you see that the O-Tackle is quite a bit larger. Okay. Both seem to be fairly sharp. Take a look at the scissors. You can see the size difference there. Swiss Army scissors are much better at going through paper. Let's try cardboard. I would say that was pretty even. Next, let's try some paracord. So the K1 goes right through paracord without issue. Looks like it takes two cuts with the Swiss Army knife. And lastly, let's test some zip ties. K1 cuts through zip ties very easily. The Swiss Army takes a lot of effort. It actually kind of hurts. I had to push quite hard. The thumb press is not very wide on it. If we look at the scissors between the two, you'll notice on the O-Tackle K1 that it has grooves or teeth cut into one of its scissor blades. I think that's why it might have cut better through the paracord because it could grab it and the same with the zip tie. Comparing the two, I would have to say the O-Tackle has a much nicer feel to it being aluminum. It feels more solid. The Swiss Army knife with its plastic and how light it is actually feels a bit cheap. Obviously, Victoria Knox has a strong history of making quality items, so I don't think that's the case, but the O-Tackle does feel better. The detent on the O-Tackle is much better as well. It has a half stop and it's a little tighter, where the Swiss Army knife, not much of a detent at all, just at the very end. Between the two knives, I have to say the O-Tackle K1 has a much better bigger knife. The scissors between the two, the K1 has the better, larger scissors, but the Swiss Army Knife's scissors did cut better through paper. The O-Tackle has a bottle opener and a can opener, which the Swiss Army does not, and the Swiss Army Knife has a toothpick and a file, which the K1 does not. Both of them have tweezers, but the Swiss Army Knife tweezers 
did feel better. The screwdriver between the two is definitely a wash. And the key rings, the uh, Swiss Army knife came with a split ring and the O-Tackle did not. So I would give the win to the Swiss Army knife there. I think overall, since scissors are my biggest priority for my smaller pack, the O-Tackle K1 is most likely to make it in. Swiss Army knife is nice and they do have much better options uh, if you go up above the $20 price point. But comparing these two, I think the uh, K1 takes it. Now that you have a good small multi-tool, you need a good flashlight. To find a good one, watch my flashlight playlist here.